this sector now we are going to focus on the sports and recreation. This sector is uh, budgeted for a 28%, 28% of our total budget goes into the sports and recreation sector. And this is where we look at all the sporting uh, codes across the country. Uh, the program one on this sector is schools and club sports. And this sub-program will take 30% of the 28% that is allocated to the sector. So 30% of the budget of the sports sector is allocated to the sub-program schools and club sports. So the overall goal of this area is to contribute to having a healthy nation by increasing levels of participation in sport and recreation, with a particular focus on women, youth, the elderly, and people with disabilities, um, as well as rural and disadvantaged communities. I know probably most of us have experienced the last two years where if we used to exercise regularly, it became very difficult to do that. And also our mental health has suffered. And sport is a very good way for us to increase our health um, in terms of both our physical and our mental and emotional well-being. So this is why we thought it was important to pay particular attention to that aspect of sport and recreation in this funding cycle. Our envisaged outcome for this sector or for this subsector is increase in sporting activity, activities, programs in rural and poor schools. We also envisage increase in designated groups participating in sports and recreation. We also expect increase in club league competition participation by designated groups. I think, Sarah, we need to talk about the, the designated groups. What, what, what do we mean by designated groups so that there is clarity out there? Uh, we should all remember that uh, South Africa is um, very much imbalanced when it comes to you know, access to facilities. So the focus is on the youth focus on the women, focus on people living with disability, and we are very much biased towards the rural communities and the townships because of the spread of the facilities in our country. Um, under measures to be supported, we would be looking at funding for equipment and apparel, as well as for people to participate in competitions and leagues at a local level. We would want recreational activities for the, for the designated groups, as well as campaigns and events to encourage participation in, in recreation by the designated groups. The organizations that can apply for this kind of support would be public schools. We are looking at sports clubs and NPOs. We are looking at community recreation councils that can access this kind of funding. So there you are. Uh, it's open. That's the first subsector of the sports sector uh, uh, at the National Lotteries Commission. The second subsector will talk to the provincial, district, and national uh, federations. Now, this subsector takes 70 percent of the total, 28 percent of the sports sector. So, the overall goal for this program area is to support strategies for transformation in elite sport. You'll all remember that we recently had the Olympics um, in Beijing, and now we're starting at the beginning of a new Olympic cycle. So over the next four years, we would want to see all of the federations at whichever level and whichever code working towards transformation so that the team we send to the next Olympic Games can be truly representative of the South African population. What we envisaged as the outcomes for this subsector is progressive attainment of transformation targets in selected sporting codes. Remember, we are to transform the sporting sector as well. We need to make sure that all the sporting codes are played in each and every community. So that's what we envisage with this uh, subsector. And then under measures to be supported, obviously we want to make sure that we have strong and functional clubs and federations. So we will be looking at club and federation development, which could include things like training of officials and coaches, as well as administrators, and strengthening of organizational systems and governance so that uh, clubs and federations can have more professionalism and more uh, systematic way of approaching the work that they do, as well as strengthening of their monitoring, evaluation, 
Research and Learning Systems. That's what the MERL stands for. Then talent identification and development of the target groups that we mentioned previously, as well as athlete and coach support programs for those different target groups. And then lastly, obviously, for elite sport to develop, you have to expose athletes to competition. So we would then also support participation in domestic in and international competition with a, a favoritism towards those different target groups. For this subsector, we are targeting organizations uh, like your federations. Uh, this is provincial federations and national federations, including SASCOC. So this is uh, the kind of organizations that we'll expect to apply for this subsector at the National Lotteries Commission.